seven little zoas that are all over this one rock. Here we've got our little orchid doggy pack. So here we are with our little black clown. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. In today's video, it is finally the day we are moving the fish from the 20 gallon over to the 90 gallon. I cannot explain to you guys how excited I am. The moment has finally came. It feels like it feels like it's been years on years on years waiting to finally be able to put these fish over and the corals over. So that's what we are going to be doing in today's video. Just transferring everything from the 20 into the 90. So if you guys do want to see that, make sure you guys stick along and watch this video throughout. But before we get into that, let's just give some updates around the house. Right behind me, we have the pond, the 500 gallon pond. It is not 500 gallons right now. The water does evaporate pretty quickly with the sun here. So let's take a look at how crystal clear though I've gotten this thing. Without the UV sterilizer, everybody, without the UV sterilizer, I've gotten this thing crystal, crystal clear. Don't know what I did or how I did it, but it's working. Take a look. Absolutely crystal clear. You guys can see all the fish. Look at our little hybrid. I know we got another little catfish right under there because see his whiskers are touching. We've got the two little Oscars over there. Those little guys are our uh, rider dies. We've got all three of the tiger shovel nose. You guys are not gonna be able to see because it's stupid shadow right there, but we got three of the tiger shovel nose. We've got our OGs right there, the goldfish. Don't know how those things are still alive, but they're still alive. Here's a nice little look at, at uh, Spyro. Bad lighting right now because it is super bright, but look at him trying to get all skinny and act like a stick. Look at him. Hi, buddy. It's only right for me to give you guys an update, of course, on the baby chameleons. So let's go and take a look at them. Um, buddy, what are you doing right now? Can you guys see that little guy right there? He is uh, playing with his food. He's trying to eat his food bowl. Well, I don't think that's how you get it done, brother. You guys remember that big old cappuccino we just got like the other week? He's doing great. Look at him go. The little babies doing great. Here's the other one. Coming right up to the leap enclosure. We've got our little buddy right there. Unfortunately, that other baby that did hatch did not make it. I just, I had a feeling when I took him out of that incubator that day that he was, uh, looked very weak and just not really ready to take on life, I guess. So this little guy though is thriving. Come on, buddy, it's a, you know what time it is. Throw on that mister. Oh, focus. Look at, look at that little guy. Here you go. I'll let you back on your little leaf. Look at his shadow through the leaf and he pooped on me. Thanks, bro. That is that for the chameleons, though. You guys, take a look at how big this little one is getting. His scoots are uh, starting to grow. Look at him. He's almost like the size of my hand now. When we got him, he was much, much smaller. How freaking cute is that little tortoise, though? Look at those faces. Now I understand why everybody Everybody buys one of these things. Let's go inside, take a look at this 20 gallon. Talk about what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Oh my God, is that a big red dog? That's a big red dog. Hey Lucky, Lucky, say hi. Say hi. Here it is. The 90 gallon Red Sea Reefer. Big shout out to Top Shelf Aquatics. You guys had to have seen that video. But anyways, I don't think you guys understand all the products that you need to run a big fish tank like this. So with that being said, big shout out to Aqua Illumination, big shout out to Bulk Reef Supply. You know, they sent me some awesome products here to help me run this fish tank, such as these AI blade lights. And a big shout out to Bulk Reef Supply and Nios for sending me this amazing protein skimmer. Everything has been working great so far. So if you guys need a new protein skimmer, make sure you guys go and check out Nios. This thing has been doing justice. We also got the Narrow Fives pumps from Aqua Illumination as well. That is the company that you can control everything through your phone, through an app, which is completely awesome. I mean, it, it helps me out a lot. When I'm not home and I need to make sure you know something's right, I could just go on my phone and turn it all on. So let's turn these lights on and then we'll talk about this tank and what we are going to be moving out of it. You guys, I know that there is a terrible, terrible allergy bloom. That is because my nitrates are low. Cannot seem to keep them up. 
I got nitrates. Been dosing like every day, two mils. So I don't know what's going on. Cannot believe that the day is finally here. We finally get to add everything from the other tank. Kind of give them a little mini acclimation and then they'll be ready to go. First things first is we're going to be moving everything out of this little algae covered tank. The corals are not that happy with all the algae smothering them. We've got our little black storm. We've got the orange storm in here. We've got our little orchid dotty back down here. The little neon goby. We've got some, the cleaner shrimp of course. What we are going to be starting with first, as I changed my mind, we're not gonna be starting with the shrimp. We're actually gonna start with the little frags. We're gonna start moving those over right now. We've got one little frag here. I mean, come on over here, move it. Oh, the lights are starting to activate now. It's on a schedule. Where should we put this one? I say we put this one like right in this little hole. Perfect, what a perfect fit. That is one Zoa in the tank. Let's turn these lights on a little bit brighter so we can see a little bit better. Now that is more like it. We've got our one little coral frag. Right there, our little first little Zoa. This one's got a lot of heads right here. Let's see. You kind of want to shake it off. You don't want to bring that algae all over. See, I want to say these are the snitch. Yeah, I think these are the snitches. This is one of the, that's one of the Zoas that I've had that has been taking over inside of that little tank. Holy cow, is that light crazy bright. Look at all the little heads that are on that Zoa. So we're going to go and put that one. Probably right up next to the other one. There you go. So now we've got a little party of Zoas right there in that hole. I think we've got room for one more. Now that rock could end up being an insane Zoa garden. Just a mix of different colored Zoas growing all around that rock. I think it would look awesome. Coming back over for frag number three. These ones are so bright. They're all closed right now, so bear with me, but you guys can can kind of see the green. It's hard to see, but let's take this one, move it on over. We're going to follow this probably right here with a nice little trio. Is it going to fit? And it fits. Look at that. A nice little trio of Zoas. Goodness, am I just so freaking excited, dude. I, I, I literally cannot explain to you guys how excited I am. Like I said, it feels like I've been waiting years for this. I'm gonna come, come and grab these Zoas. I think these are the Bam Bams, one of the first coral frags that we put inside of this tank. Give it a nice little shake. Come on, buddy. We got a big old, uh, a big old fish tank now. This is a real reef. Fits perfect right there. So I'm thinking that we are gonna make that a little Zoa garden in that rock. I think it'll probably be best. This rock is gonna be covered, covered in different colored Zoas. We're now coming in with our last little frag, everybody. This one's got about seven heads on it. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little heads growing on this little Zoa. Let's put this guy. Where can we put this guy? Oh, oh no. My other Zoa fell. We are in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven little Zoas that are all over this one rock. That's the kind of garden I like. Right there, that whole rock is just gonna be taken over with a whole bunch of different colored Zoas. I mean, I've got orange Bam Bams. I've got the Snitches, which are like a purple with an, a bright orange lip. I've got Mystiques, those are kind of similar to the Snitches. Oh man, what else do I got? I've, there's some nice colors that are gonna be growing in here. And then once I can move on to the SPS and we can get into all the cool kind of corals, this thing right here is going to be thriving with life. Also, we are getting a custom lid built by Top Lids. If you guys wanna go check them out, link is going to be in the description below. So you guys are gonna see a little video like that. I also added this snail in last night. Look at this little guy. Hey buddy, let's think of a name for this snail because I think we're gonna see him pretty often. He likes to, uh, he likes to just cruise along the glass. Let's see if we could just stick him right back on. Sorry for pulling you off, buddy. No, let's go let him just let's let him see the zoas. Now he's gonna wake up. He's gonna be like, oh, there's more life in the tank. Are you guys ready for the fun part now? It's time to catch some actual life. Not that the corals are not alive, but. 
they're not moving and they don't give me a tough time trying to catch them with this little net. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab our cleaner shrimp, put that guy right up inside of the tank, see how he enjoys the big upgrade. Here goes nothing. First of all, you guys, I want you to check out how awesome this shrimp is. Cause he'll just come out right on my fingers and start cleaning my hands. He thinks I'm like a big grouper or like a big eel or something. Look at how awesome he is. Well, he doesn't want to clean that much, but let's catch him, move him on to his huge upgraded home. We're gonna need a name for him too, because everything needs names around here. Come on. You're gonna be difficult, huh? Yep, I already know. Let's just, I think for this guy, we might just use our hands. You guys bear with me, because I am filming with one hand trying to catch animals out of a fish tank, so. Oh, that's a loose rock. Yeah, this guy's gonna be trouble. Where did you go, bro? Where did you go? We might have to uh, skip out on the... We might have to skip out on the sh shrimp for just right now. Um, I think we have something really cool over here that we can grab actually with our hands. So right here, yep, there he is. This is like a little... This guy right here that I'm grabbing. He is like a little anemone crab. Also, or also known as the squat lobster. So this guy's actually a little lobster kind of. He's got a cool little underside. And I, I, I watch him just flap that thing open and close all day. We need a cool name for him because he will be the one that is going to be guarding our anemone with the clownfish. So, little guy. Oh, look at him go with his little tail. Like a lobster. Literally, like I said, look at him go with his tail. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that was hysterical. You guys saw him swim out with his tail like a lobster does? He's really upgraded because that thing is like this big. So he's probably like, holy, where am I? You just see his claws sticking out right there. So funny. You're the one that I need to catch. This shrimp is. It's, it's, it's about to come out. I'm not playing with him anymore. Oh, yeah. Now I got him in this corner right here. He's done. He's done. Oh, well. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> We've got our little shrimp. Let's grab him with our hands. I don't want to get all this algae into my new tank. Look at that. We've got our little tiny shrimp. My friend. There you are. That's your new tank. That's your new tank. Here you go, buddy. This is your new home. Oh, look at him go. He swam right up to the GoPro. And he's in a little tunnel now. We're never gonna see him. It's like I put all this these corals in here and it still looks like I got nothing in here. We're gonna need to do a big old coral shopping spree so you guys Leave some comments down below, leave me a thumbs up. We also need to do a fish shopping spree, so if you guys do wanna see separate videos like that, one on going to pick up a bunch of coral, leave me a thumbs up, and if you guys wanna see me go get a bunch of fish, leave me some comments. Cause our fish tank is going to become amazing. Before we move the fish, there is one more little, one more little guy in here somewhere that I would like to get out before we move the fish. But I'm gonna have to probably move all these, oh, I'm gonna probably have to move all these rocks around in order to find this guy. I found him. You guys see him up there in that little crack? That was not easy, but we've gotten our little crab. We have turned the fish tank completely upside down now. Let's get him in. I'll let you go right up here, bruv. Let's put him on the GoPro. Yeah, he does not like he doesn't like the GoPro. He just rolled off. But now he's probably gonna find himself a little hole, and we will probably never end up seeing this little crab ever again. Finally, moving these fish over. We've got two little clownfish, one neon goby, and the orchid dotty back is somewhere throughout here. We've got our little catch station. This is where we're going to put the fish, and then I'm gonna go move them on so I can acclimate them and drip them with that water. Who should we start with? Should we start with this black storm? I know, I know, buddy. I know. Oh, that well, that was easy, dude. We've got our little black storm clownfish, one of my favorite little guys. Here you go, buddy. So there he is in there. Let's grab this one. Come on. Let's go, buddy. It's okay. I 
I know you can't even hear me right now, but... Oh, yeah, you're the smart one, though. You're the smart one. You're a little... Your little partner over here. Your little partner ran, swam right into the net. Yes, we've got it. Look at how beautiful that orange storm clown is. And drop them right in here. Let's get these two little clownfish acclimated, and then we'll move on to the orchid dotty back and the neon goby. These two clownfish are so beautiful. Look how much algae I had in my last tank, though. Ew. So the clownfish have been acclimating for about 10 to 15 minutes. It is now time to add them into their new home. Let's do it. So here we are with our little black clown. Here you are, little guy. That's your new home, dude. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have fish. Oh my god. Look at him. He's just hiding in that little corner. You're fine, buddy. Look at him just chilling. You don't wanna come out, you're just gonna sit right there. He's probably like, well dude, this is a lot of space, man. He's like, let me just let me just look at least. He's loving this little cave. There he is. Now he's coming out a little bit. Look at that dude, this is this is your new tank. This is this is your new tank! This is the orange storm. I know it looks black on camera. Here you are, little buddy. Wow. Look at how just awesome she looks in there. And then we got the little, little black storm. Where'd you go, homie? Now let's wait for them to see each other and then they'll probably link up. Oh my goodness, we've got life. And we've got to put anemone in here for them. They're going to probably claim the anemone. Oh, just, I cannot believe that we've got fish inside of the, the fish tank. I cannot believe that we've fish inside of this tank right now. It is, goodness gracious, this is just so amazing. Oh, they found each other. Yes. They found each other. I got my sleeves all wet, so I ended up just changing it into a new shirt. I had this one sitting right next to the fish tank. Of course, we've got Mr. Chili on the front. You guys, uh, Bulk Reef Supply actually teamed up with the Florida Aquarium to help save the coral reefs. So, I got this cool little shirt with a little hero Mr. Chili on it. And then, of course, my little Mr. Chili is gonna be hanging out right next to the brand new setup. So, uh, big shout out to Bulk Reef Supply and of course the Florida Aquarium for caring about our uh, our reefs. Big shout out to them. Thank you for the awesome shirt and the little plushie, of course. But we've got fish inside of the aquarium now. Like I said, let's uh, let's get those, those other two fish acclimated and then we can move them on into their new upgrade. So let's do that. Here we got our next little, uh, our next little problem. We gotta catch this fast, teeny tiny little goby and he's gonna go into the rocks and whatnot. Maybe he's gonna get tricked right here and maybe I could just scoop him. Yes, oh my goodness. What a finesse right there. I don't know if you guys saw what I did. Here we've got our little orchid dotty back. You guys probably cannot see. But now, I'm gonna bring this cup really quick, just in natural lighting so you guys can see how bright this fish actually really is. Look at that thing. Nope, it still is not doing. Still not doing the justice that it deserves, but this fish is seriously like a bright purple. There you can kind of see the color of it. Crazy purple. Now that we have gotten the orchid dotty back in that little cup, it is time to try to catch that little tiny neon goby. I've been trying to catch him for like 10 minutes now. And then we also have to go on a hunt. There are two little tiny sexy shrimp somewhere in that fish tank. That's gonna be nearly impossible, but we're gonna get it done. Of course, we can't leave anybody behind. The clownfish are swimming together. Everything is looking great so far. Let's get that neon goby, acclimate those, and then put them inside of the new tank. Well, that only took about 20 minutes. So here are both of the fish. Those are gonna, we just have to acclimate these now for about 10 to 15 minutes like we did the clownfish, and then we'll move them on over. So they have now been acclimating for 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna start with the crazy fish first. This guy was so impossible to catch. There he goes. Now this is an upgrade. Considering 
He is actually so little, and he's already gone. Yeah, that's just like one of the fish that we probably, oh, I see him actually, he thinks he's slick. He's actually hiding right here in the crack of that rock. Last but not least, we are going in with the orchid dotty back. Right on in. She's probably gonna hide right at the bottom. So the orchid dotty back is like, found a little tunnel back there. You can see she's swimming back and forth into that hole. Everybody's now inside of the tank and I can't tell you, I really wanna go to the store and buy some new fish. Cause it looks like I have absolutely nothing inside of it. Um, the schedule just kind of enabled, so it's not as bright white anymore. I kind of just did that through my phone while I was filming. So now it's actually the real schedule that it's supposed to be on. We've got both of our clownfish just absolutely vibing right there in the corner. We've got all of our zoas, our little snail, our neon goby. He's still chilling in, inside of that rock right now. Like I said, we're probably never going to see him. So our dotty back is like right here in this cave. You guys see the purple dotty back sticking out of that rock? And then you guys see the whiskers from our little shrimp. Everything is inside of the tank now. We need to just go on in here and try to try to find our little sexy shrimp, which I will do in just a little bit. Everything looks amazing. The only thing we're really waiting on is for our lid from top lids. So those guys don't end up jumping out, but I mean, they've never given me a problem in there. So fingers crossed they don't until we get the lid. That is that. Holy cow, we've gotten fish inside of our brand new fish tank. This is, it's, it's crazy. I, I can't explain to you guys how excited I am to finally be able to start putting new stuff inside of this tank. But like I said, that'll be a video coming up. So make sure you guys have those notification bells smashed. So when we do a coral shopping spree or a fish shopping spree, you guys are in tune with that. So with that being said, everybody, that'll wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little at home video we did. We, uh, we transferred all the coral, all the fish, the snails, crustaceans, and everything in the little 20 gallon tank on over to the 90 gallon tank that Top Shelf provided us with. Like I said, big shout out to them. I can't thank them enough for this. I mean, I wouldn't be filming this video without them. So uh, another quick big shout out to Aqua Illumination for sending me these blade lights. Uh, big shout out to Bulk Reef Supply, sending me the shirt, sending me the plushie. Also, uh, Bulk Ring Supply and Nios for sending me the amazing protein skimmer. You know, I can't thank you guys enough. Thanks so much for providing all this stuff. And that'll wrap it up. So, you guys, I will see you on next week's episode. Make sure you guys stick around. Peace out.